Hey, what is up everyone? I hope all of you are doing great. And in today's question, we have a dumbbell constructed by affixing small identical balls, each of mass m at the ends of a light rod of length l, stands vertically on a frictionless floor touching a frictionless wall as shown in the figure. Okay. Uh, if the lower ball is gently pushed away from the wall, the dumbbell begins to slide, denoting acceleration due to gravity g. Find the expression for speed of the lower ball when the upper ball is leaving the wall. So, we need to find out the speed of the lower ball when this upper ball just leaves the wall. So, uh, until it leaves the wall, I have drawn a situation and I have drawn the free body diagram of the structure. The forces that are acting are normal due to the wall, the force due to gravity and normal due to the flow. Fine. Uh, at this instant, I have considered that the rod makes an angle theta with the horizontal. Speed of this ball is v, speed of this ball is u. As the length of the rod remains unchanged, so velocity component along the rod must be same. So, here v cos theta must be equal to u cos 90 minus theta that would give you u equals v cot theta. Fine, we will use this equation after some time. Now, what happens just after this ball loses the contact with the vertical wall, the value of n 1 becomes 0. Okay. When this ball loses the contact, n 1 becomes 0. Please see that n 1 was the only force that was present in the horizontal direction that was being applied on the horizontal direction on this whole structure. N 1 was responsible for increasing the horizontal velocity component of the center of mass. Fine. After N 1 becomes 0, horizontal velocity of the center of mass of the whole structure does not change. Fine. Now, initially this N 1 was increasing the velocity of the center of mass in the horizontal direction. But as this ball was in contact with the vertical wall, its horizontal velocity was not increasing. So, the total rise in the horizontal direction of velocity was contributed by this mass only. Okay. So, initially the velocity of this mass was only increasing, okay. reaching out to a maximum value until and unless this ball remains uh, does not loses the contact. After this ball loses the contact, what happens? Let us check. After losing contact, n 1 becomes 0. The forces that comes into uh, the picture are the gravitational force. This normal is still there. Of course, the value is changing, but it is still there. And the tension between the rod within the rod comes into play. Okay. Now, this tension also increases the horizontal component of the velocity of this mass and it uh, so it also changes the horizontal component of velocity of this mass also. But please understand this value is not changing that is the horizontal velocity of the center of mass does not change. So, according to the formula of center of mass we can write V c h equals to m v 1 h plus m v 2 h divided by 2 m. So, we have v 1 plus v 2 h equals constant. After losing contact, the value of v 2 h is decreasing and v 1 h is increasing, but the value of v c h remains constant. Okay. So, we can analyze that the velocity of this mass, okay, because this v 2 h now after losing contact it starts decreasing. So, the velocity of this mass was initially increasing reaches out to a maximum after this mass loses the contact its velocity or its speed starts to decrease. Okay. So, we just need to find out that value of theta where the velocity or the speed of this mass is maximum. So, we need to just uh, express v in the form of theta and we will just put d v d theta equals 0. Fine. So, we have drawn this diagram once again. Using the energy conservation as there is no friction, the decrease in potential energy of the system is only due to this mass because this mass does not changes its uh, vertical height. So, initially the whole system was in vertical 
uh, structure was in vertical situation. So, the decrease in potential energy of this mass is m g l minus m g l sin theta and that will give rise to increase in kinetic energy of both the masses. So, one will have kinetic energy half m v square and this one will have kinetic energy as half m u square where u is v cot theta fine. So, just arranging everything we get v square equals 2 g l sin square theta minus sin cube theta. Now, we will do the rest of the work differentiating both side with respect to theta we get this one. So, 2 g l 2 sin theta cos theta minus 3 sin square theta cos theta equals 0 fine. So, here we have 2 equal to 3 sin theta. So, th sin theta equals to 2 by 3 and to find out the maximum value of v, we will just put the value of sin theta in this equation. So, we will have 2 g l sin square theta means 4 by 9 minus 8 by 27, we get 2 g l times 27 9 3 12 8. So, 8 g l by 27 the root over would be the maximum speed of the lower mass and uh, that will also be the speed of the lower mass when the upper mass loses the contact fine. So, just remember initially the speed of this mass is increasing when this mass loses the contact with the vertical wall its speed starts, starts to decrease because to keep the uh, center of mass horizontal component velocity constant, this should decrease because uh, the horizontal component vel of velocity of this mass starts increasing, right. So, this would be the answer of this question. So, I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you like the video, please uh, give a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Peace.